Whether playing tennis on center court at the US Open or at the local park, all tennis players face the same question. What makes a good doubles partner? Here at Tennis Warehouse, we interviewed three players who have all held the number one doubles ranking during their careers on the WTA and ATP tours to see what their secrets are. This is their advice. I actually get asked this question a lot. What is the process of picking a doubles partner? And it can go a few different ways. Sometimes it's just a simple text saying, hey, you free next week? You want to play Indian Wells? Uh, other times there's a little bit of a formality. Sometimes coaches hook players up. Um, it's just depending a little bit on your goals. Some players are looking to play a tournament here and there. Others want a full season guarantee. So I think there's a lot of communication, a lot of different ways. For me, I've usually sent a text to the friends that I want to play with, um, see what their availability is, see what tournaments they want to play, what their schedule looks like, and then we go from there. So it's pretty, it's pretty casual. I feel like there's an opportunity for an app to be made here, but uh, I'll talk to someone about that later. The process for choosing a doubles partner is, is pretty simple really. Um, it's basically just asking, asking other players. Um, I guess you, you see who you want to play with, see who you're, you think you would fit best with and, and then it's just asking them if, if they want to play. Usually people do this at the end of the, end of the season to set it up for the, for the next year. Um, but yeah, it's just, just asking who, who you want to play with and see if they, see if they want to play as well. Well, the process of uh, choosing a doubles partner will be someone you really connect with because you have to, you know, play with her, of course, 24 seven, same tournaments and everything, travel together, maybe to practice. So someone you could connect with, but also someone who suits your own game. Generally, I have a really good idea of my partner's game styles before I'm asking them to play dubs. Am I looking for someone that plays identical to me? Not necessarily. A lot of my success in the past has come from playing with singles players or baseline players, and I would consider myself a little bit more of an all-court player where I love to be at the net. Now, a good setup in modern tennis, have a solid player at the back, amazing net player, and then you cover a lot of the court. But I do play with a few players that love to come in, so we just change the strategy up a little bit. We'll have more return and come in, chip and charge, lobs come in, put a lot of pressure. So when we both have amazing volleys, we just switch the strategy up. If I have someone that prefers staying back, I'll pull them back. I'll even play two returners back, and I'll be the one looking to come in and keep them in their strength and their comfort zone from the back. And then we'll just pick apart the team depending on how they're playing us. So I like to switch it up and I don't mind playing. For me, the biggest part of finding an amazing partner is the energy. Often you will look for, for a partner with a similar game style, um, but some people like it different. Um, I think it's most, the most important thing is the personality and whether you get on really well with them. Um, I think some people, maybe if they've got a weaker shot, they might want a partner with a stronger stronger shot, like if your returns aren't so good, you might want someone with really good returns to make up for that, but also some people like it where they, their partner plays similar to them because they feel like they can then understand their partner and how they play better, so I think it's a personal preference really. Well, I choose someone who maybe has a little bit of an opposite game style because I like, you know, being on the net, a little bit of hands and everything. I like someone who, you know, hits the ball hard, get me the advantage on the net, but also has a good serve. Um, I'm pl currently playing with a lefty, so that kind of helps too sometimes. Energy is key. I know I've said this a million times, but it's a big thing that I look for when I'm choosing a partner. How they are on the court, off the court, do we vibe? Communication isn't just about saying yours, mine, covering the lob. It's about how comfortable you are in tight situations. So most of the partners that I've played with, I'm very good friends with. We go out to dinner, we hang out off the court. So when we're on the court, we can keep that relaxed mentality uh, going through. And it, it's carried us through a lot of difficult matches. For me, once I see communication break down in my opponents, I know I got an in, even if they're up big. So uh, personality is a big thing for me. I want to vibe with my partner. I want to have a good time. Doubles is fun. You have an opportunity to chat with a buddy out there. So that's one of the biggest things I look for. I think the on and off court personality with the, with the partner is really important because um, you spend so much time with them at tournaments, you travel with them, practicing, playing matches. Um, so I think if you, if you don't go in well with that person, it, it can really affect you on the court because, um, I mean, basically, if, if the person's annoying you or um, 
then, then it's going to get to you and it's going to affect your own game. It's going to affect how, how you're going to be able to support them. Um, so I think having that chemistry and being, um, getting on really well together is, is, is really important to be able to play well together on court. Well, the, the personality of my doubles partner would be pretty important because we spend a lot of time together. We even spend more time sometimes than with our family. So it's kind of important to have that connection. The biggest difference between doubles and mixed doubles is that in mixed doubles, the men are not used to returning the women's serve. Yes, I said that correctly. I'll tell you why. A lot of the women on tour spend more time with male hitting partners. We're used to returning against the guys and not a lot of guys practice hitting returns from girls. So for me, I feel like it takes them a couple games to get used to returning our serves. A lot of times they think they're gonna overpower us. It takes them a few games to realize they're not. And we all know how quick some mixed doubles matches can go. So I feel like that's one of the biggest differences. Other than that, for me, I'm choosing a partner that I'm having a blast with, whether it's a guy, whether it's a woman on tour, and uh, having some fun out there, so. I think the biggest difference between doubles and mixed doubles is I think the mixed doubles is slightly more relaxed, maybe a bit more fun. Um, we only play it four times a year at the Grand Slam, so obviously it's, they're really big tournaments and we, we want to win them, but um, I think it's, yeah, it's usually a little bit more relaxed and I think since you're only playing with that person maybe one off at that tournament or you only get to play with them a few times, um, yeah, you try to enjoy it and have a bit more fun on the court. Well, we kind of choose who plays juice or add um, in the advantage of your own game uh, and your partner's game, of course, um, to get maybe like that foreign volley in the middle of the court. So to choose who plays the juice or add side, most people will have, most players will have a side that they, they play the whole time. Most doubles players will have, they either play on the juice side or the add side. So if you're looking for a partner, for me, I play on the juice side. If I was looking for a partner, I, I would be looking for players who play on the ad side. Um, some people play both um, and they, they mix around a bit, especially if they're playing with different partners often, but uh, most people will have, have a side that they play and then look for a partner that plays on the other side. There are weeks where I will practice a little bit more with my doubles partner, we'll play some double sets. However, when I'm playing with some singles players, a lot of times they're playing matches, I'm warming up on my own, so that's where the communication comes in. We just have our strategy, we know each other really well, we make our play calls on the court, keep that communication open, because sometimes you're not. You're showing up at an event, you're checking the schedule, hey, we're on tomorrow, what time do you want to warm up? And that's how you roll until a match. And that's why I talk so much about communication and how important it is for doubles. So for me, I often don't train with my doubles partner because I'm from London, he's from, from the US. Um, so in between tournaments, we go back home. Um, but we've been playing together for five years now, so we, we know each other's games so well. When we're at tournaments, we'll practice together, play practice sets. Um, sometimes if we're leading into a, a tournament, we might, we might practice together, but often we, we practice our separate things, and which is fine because often when we're, when we're just training, we're, we're working on our own, own game, our own things that we need to work on, so that's, that's okay to, to do those things separately. I do practice and train with my doubles partner. Of course, I'm also still a singles player, so I try and you know, practice on that a lot more. But um, once we finish the singles, I do a lot of doubles practices. So throughout my career, I've played with some pretty amazing doubles partners, and the crew at Tennis Warehouse is making me pick one, so I don't want anyone to feel like this was my idea of choosing a favorite partner. But if I had to go back and bring someone into my current doubles, schedule, it would have to be my lefty Lucy. And she is the mother of two beautiful children in Prague right now, enjoying her life away from the tennis. But Lucy, I miss you. And if you ever want to come back, I'm here for you. If I was going to pick any partner to play with, um, past or present, I think I would, it's tough. I think I'd have to choose Roger Federer. He's, He's been my favorite player, my idol since I was since I was a kid, and and wanted to be a professional tennis player. So um, yeah, I think it would have to be him. Ooh, the doubles partner I would pick. Um, well, I would love to play with Ego one time. <laughs> it would be a great pick, I think. Thank you so much for watching. To get the gear seen in this video, head to tenniswarehouse.com.